If you put a finger on my sister, I guarantee your head pop, 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 just like blister. I might smile and grin, but trust me, darling, when it comes to what's good everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new it's your girl missus and i'm back with another video so today fenty has done it again and they've dropped their newest skin complexion product which is the skin tint so i've definitely got my babies right here which i actually picked up two shades and i'm obviously going to do a little quick first impression so without further ado let's get right into the video so my whole subscription feed on youtube has been filled up with all my girlies trying out the skin tint foundation no skin tint moisturizer from Fenty and I've avoided watching the videos because obviously I'm testing this out myself and I like to keep my opinions completely unbiased I was actually really looking forward to this because I know some people are either full-on makeup be like full coverage the whole shebang or there's some people like moi that do like a little bit of a skin tint here and there so i'm actually really intrigued to try this out this retails for 25 pounds or 29.50 dollars and this is the ease drop blurring the skin tint it comes in 25 shades it has 32 mils and it pretty much confirms that it's an instant blurring skin tint flexible shades 25 flexible shades Buildable light to medium long wear coverage with a quick blur complex for hydrating and diffuse effect. Smooth textures that layers with a primer and skincare. Apply with your fingers or your brush. Humidity, sweat and transfer resistant formula. Obviously when they announced they had 25 shades, everyone was probably thinking like which shade is going to be my shade then. So they did categorise shades like probably four or five shades into one category to indicate which one you should get. So in the Pro Filter Foundation, which I do use the hydrated one and also the Pro Filter Powder, I use the shade 445. Now this claims to have a, I think a golden olive undertone. So 440, 445 and 450 should get the shade 21. I actually decided to get two shades. So I've got 21 and 22, I believe. Yeah, I decided to get two shades because I'm very curious how they work this out especially with shades with different undertones so if you're new to my channel i do have normal to try combination skin my skin is not really the best due to like hormones and i do have loads of hyperpigmentation predominantly around my cheek area so i'm actually really curious to see how this covers it up but i'm gonna quickly prime my face i'm just gonna use a little bit of the revolution ultra face base primer which is like a really nice silicone texture Hey girls, if you see any spots around the brows and all of that, just ignore that sis, but my skin has been doing a lot for the last few months. Let's take these out of the packaging. Can you come out? I like the way they design it because it's petite, it's travel size friendly. I really like it it's very unusual but that's one thing about Fenty Beauty like their packaging is just amazing so I actually really like this can you imagine this was glass this is 21 and this is 22 okay so yeah definitely do see a difference with the shades there shade 22 looks nice oh I like shade 22 oh snap I didn't shake it shame that is 21 and that is 22 so that is 22 so there is a huge difference <laughs> a huge difference between the two shades this one does come off quite olive that's the powder one 445 that's 21 skin tint and that's 22 so yeah very different mm, i don't know if this one's gonna be for me you know babe 21 that is 21 22 so 21 is described with a warm neutral undertone and then 22 is deep with warm undertone so i would definitely say that 22 does have warm undertones but 21 doesn't come across neutral it actually comes across like a golden olive undertone but a little bit more olive than the liquid hydrating foundation so i don't think i'm actually feeling the shade you know weirdly enough Mm, I think I prefer 22 but then I would just have to highlight to balance out the red undertone and oh God, a little bit of 22 on my face and I think I'm just going to see oh yeah she's warm 
she is warm she's got nice coverage though she is yeah she is but it feels really really nice it actually feels like there's nothing on my skin um i do actually like the coverage for a skin tint like this is nice coverage for skin tint it's not too watery as well I do like the shades the undertone is a little bit too warm it's got a nice finish as well it's one side of my face with the skin tint i really really like the coverage of that it's really nice it's lightweight and it's pretty much blurred well hidden my discoloration blurring mm, i can semi see it but i can still see like my natural textures of my skin so i wouldn't say it's like the ultimate blurring skin tint but um probably once i do like the rest of my makeup it would help blur the imperfection girl shade is perfect like i think from side by side and me using natural lighting <laughs> side by side you can probably see like i feel like it does match my face shade good but it's just warm 21 sorry like and um, this is meant to cover like three foundation shades let me just let me just even use a look a bit now yeah no can you not see that mm. Mm. yeah i'm gonna use 22 so Okay, so with the wet or the damp beauty sponge, it does it does take up some of the coverage which is expected. So this gives me more of like a light coverage. But even for something that's light, I still feel like it's covered some of my discoloration quite well. Um, and it blends out nicely. Hmm. Okay, Fenty, what a Fenty beauty. Yes, Fenty beauty. Yeah, I'm gonna do the rest of my face. Just a quick little simple beat nothing too special but yeah let me just do the rest of my face so i can look more put together and see what the vibe is So I've actually been off the camera for about an hour because let me tell you, minute hungry you see, like my belly was doing the most and when I'm hungry, I'm just not normal. So this is my face. I would have actually gone a little bit more subtle, like with the cheeks and I did mascara, but true say I do want to take some pictures for the gram. I just thought let me just pop on my favourite go-to lashes which are the Style Melamoos from City Style. So I'm going to set my face, but this is what... My face pretty much looks like after an hour and so far so good like it's got a like a velvet texture that's the only way i can really explain it and then when you add your powders on top it pretty much smooths out your skin even more so i'm gonna set my face with the milk hydro grip setting spray i do want to do a wear test using this as well i featured it in my most recent testing that new product and it's giving me charlotte tilbury vibe but a hydrated one so for me and for y'all i'm gonna try this out so let me set the face then i'm gonna add some lips i finally got the shade hot chocolate from fenty beauty which is like the dark oh chocolate lip gloss so i feel i'm just gonna go for a chocolate vibe i'm gonna line my lip with the morphe liner in the shade trendsetter Okay, so this is the face and i must say that hydrated this setting spray is actually giving me life you know like it literally just transformed my skin it set the makeup really well but then now it's giving me a little bit of like a nice glow to the face i know this is not everyone's cup of tea i'm actually going to do a little bit of a wear test because i'm once again i'm going to try to take some pictures photograph with my beat like so and just pretty much kill time <laughs> to just kill time so i will see how i get on with it but so far i really like it i really like the finish okay fenty merci what on our door all right fenty but anyway let me see you guys back in the next following clip hello 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 guys so this is my face after five hours i've had this on my face for about 11 ish it's now 
sorry i've got a little tripod because i was trying to take some pictures girl but it's now 4 52 and this is what my face looks like so i actually really like this skin tint and i'm just gonna get right into it to be honest but there's a little bit of a close-up this is what my skin looks like with the skin tint on after five hours and that's all i need girl to figure out how this is gonna work on me and i actually really like it the formula is like a velvet velvety texture it's not too thick it's not too runny it's got the perfect amount of consistency for a skin tint um it does have light to medium beautiful coverage it pretty much covered up the majority of my discoloration but still left back a gray hue the palm my upper top lip and i was just a little bit like mm. but that's quite common i do find that quite common in complexions in general to be fair it gives me this nice healthy look to the skin and i do feel like with this milk hydro grip like this and this mm, they, they work well well for me anyway and my skin type even though i do have normal to dry combination skin my nose is very dry and flaky but it also is the area where my natural oils like break through my complexion products so you could probably see like a nice little sheen there it's not oily it's literally just sheen because as I'm wiping my face now there's actually hardly anything on there unless I really like dig it in in my skin so and yeah girl like I'm actually really feeling the skin tint the only thing I would say that it did separate around my smile lines and that's really it like that's really it but however Two things I would say, the shades are a little bit mm, because I know quite a lot of people can't even find it correct or near enough perfect shades in the complexion products which pretty much almost have double the amount of shades in this range so I don't know how this is going to suit everyone. I'm going to be deadly honest. I thought I was going to get away with 21, but 21 is not really for me. So I will go for 22. I can't really complain that she's warm because she does claim to have a warm undertone. But I personally feel like it's manageable for me, especially when I complete my glam. If you're the type of person that you're not in the, me want my skin look good, me wake up like this, skin look like skin. Like if you're not really about that life, you're not really going to like this because this is not giving you a foundation vibe. And I think that's really important to people to emphasize that this is not a foundation. This is a skin tint moisturizer. So you're not going to get the foundation element and vibe from this one. Yeah. And I do prefer this if I were to compare it to like a drugstore alternative, like the super dewy skin tint from Revolution. I do prefer this. It's not as warm and as red as the Revolution one. And it's more skin shades. And there's something about it, like, I like it better. I don't think this is for everyone. I will be honest. This is not for everyone. But this this is a little bit of me. I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit for me. I'm not really too mad that I got it. But it's just a little bit annoying that I had to get two shades. That's the only thing. But I will leave it as that. So you guys let me know what you think. If you have it, do you like it? Do you don't like it? Tell me why if you don't like it. I will leave all the details in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. And boom. That pun and chill like. Big up my sisters.